That's right. I had the opportunity to speak with a Hilltop business owner, and she says that she can't wait to see the trains rolling past her window. In the Hilltop's Red Elm Cafe, yeah. Jennifer Richardson is excited about all the new customers the light rail will bring to her coffee shop. We're hoping that we get to feed and caffeinate nurses and doctors from both TG and from St. Joe's. But dealing with all the construction to get it set up hasn't been easy. There have been lots of times where all my parking was taken away and the drilling and the noise and it's off and on kept customers away. But we've managed through it actually. I'm pretty kind of proud of us. But she won't have to wait much longer. Earlier today, Sound Transit showcased the first of five light rail trains for the extension, which is set to run from St. Joseph's to the Tacoma Dome. The state-of-the-art trains can carry up to 100 people and are accessible for those with bikes and wheelchairs. In addition to easing people's commutes, Sound Transit Board Chair Kent Keel says the project also provides work for the community. Sound Transit is also adding 30 new living wage jobs to our Tacoma Link staff, which includes more train operators and maintenance staff. But as excitement builds for the light rail's debut, there is still concern about the potential displacement of Hilltop residents. Tacoma has adopted a range of policies to address displacement since 2018 as part of its Affordable Housing Action Strategy. Council member Christina Walker pledged that Tacoma would make a concerted effort to maintain those policies as the project develops. We passed an anti-displacement resolution last fall as part of our housing work. We're continuing to do that with, uh, to keep that lens as a focus through our home in Tacoma work. And we will continue to make Hilltop a focus of that, that work as well. In the meantime, Jennifer has just one request. Hurry up and get it done. <laughs> but also, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that it's coming to Hilltop. Now, Sound Transit says that the extension will be ready by the first quarter of 2023, and the agency is confident that it can make that deadline. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.